Hello Internet, it's Riptart here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a capo. What is a capo, you ask? Well, thanks for asking. A capo is a device that you put on your guitar that helps you change the pitch or the key the song is in, but while still playing the same chords you were playing before. So I'll show you what I mean. But first, there are a couple different types of capos. Here's one type that you screw on, it has a little screw here to tighten and you put on your guitar, or the kind I would recommend because it's quicker and easier, has a hinge that you just squeeze and place on your guitar. And it makes cool squeaky noises. So how do I use the capo? Well, as a reminder, guitar has what are called frets. And you can see they're marked with these lines here on the guitar. So this is fret one, two, three, usually has a dot on it, four, five, usually has a dot on it, six, seven, usually has a dot on it. So um, those are how you number the frets. And what you do is you take your capo, and if you want to put it on fret one, you just put it right there. That's an example of your capo on fret one. Fret two would be one more down. So what is the meaning of this? Well, I'm going to get a pencil and paper and show you. Okay, so this is Riptard's capo chart that I made to explain how to use a capo. It looks confusing at first glance, but I'm going to explain how to use it, so hopefully you know how to use a capo. So, what do we see here? We see a lot of letters. What these are, are the 12 major chords, or keys. So every song that you hear on the radio or whatever is going to be in one of these 12 keys. So, um, in my four chords videos, I take all songs, no matter what key they're in, no matter what 12 of these keys, and I put them in G. So I always use the chords G, E minor, C, and D. So they're always in the same chord. But if you hear a song on the radio, it might be in the key of B, it might be in the key of D, who knows. But if you use a capo, you can switch between these. And I have an arrow going to the right because when you use a capo, you only can raise the pitch, you can't lower the pitch and I'm going to explain that further in a second here. Another thing I'll mention is you see this sign, that means G sharp. This sign here means flat, so A flat. They're in the same box because A flat and G sharp are actually the same thing, the same chord. It's just a different way of saying in between G and A. Same with B flat and A sharp, it's in between A and B. So that's what that means. So, I'm going to explain it further here and give you three examples so you'll know how to take a song that's in one key and change it to another key. Okay, so example one. Say you're watching my video and you see I'm playing Friday by Rebecca Black and you're like, hey, I wanna play that song because who wouldn't? So first you find out what chords I'm playing the song in and the easy way to do that is to watch it in the video or to go down here, go to show more. I always list all the songs in order and then you can see Earth Angel to Friday are G, E minor, C, and D. So you know that those are the order of the chords. So you learn the song, and then you go to play along with the real song with Friday, Rebecca Black, and you realize, hey, it doesn't sound the same as what I'm playing. Why is that? Because it's in a different key. So I'm going to show you how to play in the same key that Rebecca Black does if you want to play along with her while using the same chords I taught you. So what you do is you go to Google and type in Rebecca Black Friday Chords. And usually you'll get ultimateguitar.com, that's usually what I use if I'm looking up for the chords for a song. And you'll see someone tabbed out the song here, and you'll see the chords they use are B, G sharp minor, E, and F sharp. So you said, hey, Riptard was lying, it's not in G, E minor, D, and C, C and D. Um, but these are actually the same chords, just in a different key. So I'm going to show you how to use a capo to play the chords I taught you, but have it in the key of B, like this song. So we're back to Riptard's capo chart, and what we do is we write down, so Rebecca Black's chords are G, E minor, C, and D, as played by Riptard. But when we looked up the song, it showed us that the chords were B, G sharp minor, E, and F sharp. So what's with the difference here? Well, if you use a capo, you'll see that G to B, you find G, and then you find B, and you count over. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4. B is 4 above G. So, that tells us if we put our capo on the 4th fret of the guitar and play our normal chords G, E minor, C, and D, 
we will actually be playing in this key. And to double check yourself, you can check the other one. So E to G sharp, E to G sharp, one, two, wrap around, three, four. C to E, one, two, three, four. They're all four. D to F sharp, one, two, three, four. So if we put the capo on the fourth fret, we will be able to play Rebecca's Black's Friday along with her while playing these chords. So just to reiterate, here's how Riptard plays Friday with no capo. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. But if you want to play along with Rebecca Black, grab your capo, put it on four, because that's what we discovered. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. the pitch is a little higher, that's what the capo does for you. Chocolate milk break! Playing guitar is fun! So for example two, let's learn how to play Written in the Stars. So you hear me playing it and you figure out the chords I'm using, which means you go down to here again and you find out where it is. Written in the Stars, E minor, C, G, D. We know the chords. So you learn the song, you go to listen to the real song, and you go, oh, Riptard, you famboozled me. I can't play along with that. It sounds different. The reason it's different is because it's in a different pitch than the one I played. I changed it. So, how do you play along with the actual song? Well, you look it up, ultimateguitar.com again, and you see they tell you to play A minor, F, C, and G. So those are the chords of the actual song. Let's pull out rape, Riptard's, oh, that was a little mistake there, Riptard's capo chart. We know that written in the stars, as I play it, was E minor, C, G, and D. But when we looked it up, we saw that it said to play A minor, F, C, G. Why is that? Because it's in a different key than the one I played it in. How do you switch from E minor to A minor? Well, you find E, just ignore the minors for this, and then we want to go to A, so you're going to have to wrap around. So, start at E, we go 1, 2, three, four, five. Make sense? So E to A is five steps to the right. So we'll put a five here. Once again, you can double check it with all the others. And if we put our capo on the fifth fret, we'll be able to play along with Written in the Stars by playing these chords. Capo, capo me some more chocolate milk. Okay, third and last example, how to play Demons by Imagine Dragons. First you watch how I play it. Starts with G, D, E minor, C. So you know the chords, but you go to play with the real song, and guess what? It's in a different key. Why? Because normally it is, because there's 12 possible different keys, so it's unlikely that it's in the same key. So you look up how to play the actual song, and this one's a little different, because it says C, G, A minor, F, but it tells you from the beginning already to put a capo on third, capo on three. So what do you do in this case? Let me show you. We have our chords, G, D, E minor, C, and we want to go to C, G, A minor, F. So G to C, G, one, two, three, four, five. That tells us we want to move five pitch steps to play the same thing. But, if you remember, it said to have your capo on three when we learned how to play it. So, whenever it tells you to put the capo on a certain number, just add that to whatever number you got. So five plus three would be eight. So a lot of those will tell you a capo number, so just add that to whatever you got to get your final number. So put the capo on fret 8 and play these chords and you'll be able to play along with the real song Demons in the key they played it. Okay, we're all done. I hope you learned how to use a capo today and it wasn't too confusing for you. I hope it all made sense. might have to watch the video a couple times and try it out yourself to see how that works. But, that's how you use a capo and change the pitch of a song while playing the same chords. 
This has been Riptard, and we are done for today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.